Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, guys. This is Pastor Nick Gentile of Lord and Christ Ministries, and I'm making this quick video to ask you to please support an awesome organization called Equipping the Persecuted. It was started by a friend of mine named Judd Saul, and the focus of it is on getting material support and biblical support to persecuted Nigerian Christians. Now, Christians in Nigeria are being slaughtered. They're being persecuted for their faith. There is a genocide of Christians taking place, displaced from their lands, displaced from their homes, having to forcefully reside in internally displaced person camps or IDP camps because of the brutality and the hatred of groups like Boko Haram and the Fulani Muslim herdsmen who attack Christians, who are slaughtering Christians, and attempting to Islamize the entire country of Nigeria, which is still a majority Christian country, but these Muslim radical groups are taking the country by storm and attempting to wipe Christianity off the face of the map and to rid, obviously rid the Christian presence from Nigeria. So this brother uh, just posted an update video with a description, and I'm going to turn the camera around. And I'm going to show it on the screen here, and I'm going to read it. Um, I And this is this is the brother there, Judd Saul. I would like to thank all of you for your continued support and prayers. Our local Nigerian team made it back safe from delivering food and supplies to a dangerous part of Nigeria. This is a quick video I put together of the delivery today. The report is that 30 people came to Christ, including four Muslims. Many of the people in the camp had lost hope. The Lord has answered their prayers. This is just the story of one camp. There are over 1,000 camps across Nigeria. If you would like to partner with our ministry, please visit equippingthepersecuted.org. You see the domain name on the screen right there. Check that out. And I'm going to link it up in the description. Actually, it's already linked up in the description section of this video. Now, this is the video of the delivery that took place today. Our hands would have been tied in route that we were able to um, carry out this uh, task um, without the help of um, equipping the persecuted um, right in the U.S. We thank you for your support. Each time we call, you are always there to assist. I am here on behalf of uh, people that are displaced. So their request now is they are suffering because of lack of food and lack of good shelter. They are appealing to both fearing people and also the government that anyone that is touched should come to their aid for food and medication. And also they want to go back to their various places where they have been getting their livelihood. All their houses have been brought down. They request uh, so that uh, the houses should be built and also their schools have been burned down, so their children are now left without education. Uh, our brothers that are uh, all over the world, overseas and the rest, we request you to come down to our help. Thank you very much. We are very grateful. Okay, guys, so you saw that. So if you want to support the organization, you come to the website. Again, it's equippingthepersecuted.org. You come on here, and you have the donate link. You click on that. Okay, it's loading, and you can donate through the website. And whatever support they get, they can give it. They get it to the mission field within a day, within a day. So I praise God for that. They're doing a mighty work. 
for the Lord Jesus Christ, helping our brothers and sisters in Christ who are in great need, who are they're attempting to eradicate Christians off the face of Nigeria or uh, wipe them out of the land, eradicate them. If you eradicate Christians, you eradicate Christianity from the land. But we know Jesus Christ is enthroned as, at the right hand of the Father as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Lord of Lords and Kingdom and King of Kings. And so that's not going to happen. But we need to step up for our brothers and sisters in Christ that are being persecuted for their faith. We need to do everything we can to help them. Okay, so here's an opportunity to help them tangibly. Go to equippingthepersecuted.org and give whatever you can. And again, the, the support gets there within 24 hours. So if, you're, if you've known about this genocide, the genocide of Christians in Nigeria at the hands of these Muslim groups like Boko Haram and the Fulani Muslim herdsmen, but you didn't know what to do, you didn't know how to get support to them, this is the way you do it. Again, you go to equippingthepersecuted.org, you, you click on the donate link, and you can donate through the website, and they get support to the field within a day. Um, and if you want to talk to Judd Saul, um, just search for him on Facebook, send him a message, and he'll be happy to talk to you about it. Um, so, and if I can help connect you with him, I'll be happy to do that as well. So that's really all I have to say. Jesus is in control, though. These are faithful people that are being persecuted. They're being killed. They're being pushed off their lands. Uh, you know, they're being um, displaced from their lands and their homes, their homes and their lands because of their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yet they never deny him. Many have been slaughtered because they refuse to deny their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. They go to their death professing faith in Christ. They go to their death praising the Lord Jesus Christ because he's worthy for us to lay down our lives, not just figuratively, but literally if called upon to do that. So I praise the Lord Jesus Christ for this ministry. And again, that's equippingthepersecuted.org. You can go to this website, click on the donate link, and you can donate to them. And again, the the funds for the resources the to meet the tangible needs of these Christians who are persecuted for their faith and pushed into these eternally dis, internally displaced person camps gets to the field within a day. And any amount will help just please be as generous as you possibly can be, especially with the COVID-19 lockdown. It's even harder for these people who live hand to mouth to get anything. You know, they're struggling as it is. And then with the lockdown, it makes it that much harder. And so we who are in the body of Christ here in the West need to do whatever we can to help them in every way we can. Not just pray for them, but give, send whatever money you can. If you have any money to give, even $5, please donate. And I'm doing this because I'm passionate about this organization and I'm going to give whatever I can. So Christ bless you and keep you. Jesus is Lord. All the relevant links are going to be in the description section of this video. Check them out and give whatever you can. Okay. God bless you. Amen. 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 Jesus on the throne. And one thing I love about this is he said four Muslims, uh, 30 people came to Christ, including four Muslims. So this ministry is not just about meeting the physical needs of Christians, but who are being persecuted for their faith. But also the focus is on spreading the gospel because that's the way you change the heart of wicked people. All of us are wicked. All of us are sinners by nature. We fall short of the glory of God. The way to do it is spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and see what the Holy Spirit, what our triune God would do in someone's life as they sovereignly move. Okay, so amen. So you're not only supporting a humanitarian organization, but this is an evangelistic outreach as well. And the Lord is doing a mighty work through equipping the persecuted. So again, equippingthepersecuted.org. Go there, give whatever you can, and see what the Lord is going to do. And again, the support gets there within 24 hours, and they're able to meet the needs of the people. And there's a great deal of poverty again, great deal of hunger. People are starving to death. We need to do whatever we can to help them. So Christ bless you and keep you. This is Pastor Nick Gentile of Lord and Christ Ministries. Thank you for tuning in. Jesus is Lord. Trust in him today and be saved. Amen, amen, and amen.